Okay, hey, welcome to Minecraft Scripts in Real Life, and today we're going to cover the lever. So if we jump back a little bit, we covered the button, and the button was basically ground, and we have power, and then we loop our circuit in, and I press the button, and we're firing up. So what we're going to do is we're going to build the same circuit, but what we're going to use is the real world equivalent of a lever, which would be like a dip switch. And these are very tiny switches, and they're labeled 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and they have a little note over here saying on is down. So what happens with these levers is that they have a wire at one end and a wire at another end and then when you pull the lever down it actually is going to connect between the two and then our energy will flow from one side to the other. So we're going to, when we close it, this is going to connect to that. So we're going to do, uh, we're going to have to wire this a little bit differently than we wired the button because the button was basically two loops of wire and we go in one side and out the other side. So this one is we basically go in the front and out the back or we can choose to go out the back in the front. Either way is fine. So I'm going to fire this guy up by uh, getting it on the breadboard. I'm just going to move it all the way to the left and each of these pins line up perfectly. So with them lined up perfectly, I'll just push this in flat. Now that we're in flat, we're in really good shape. And what we want to do with our setup is we're going to, I'm going to, in this one, I'm going to fire it up. We're going to do Let's get our power into the circuit. I'm going to actually put the ground on one here. And then I'm going to put the power all the way at the end of the board over here. And we're going to just lay our circuit out. Now one of the things you notice is that I've jumped the wire from this side to that side. So we have basically um, our breadboard lined up so I have the wires on the top and the wires on the bottom. And we've made a connection here. We're making a connection there. And the lever is what's going to bridge the gap. So I have negative here, I've got positive there. So we're going to bridge the gap with the lever, but then I need to bring the power back into our rest of our circuit. So we're going to have our LED, and we're going to have our resistor in place anyway. OK. Um, so for, for that, let's get those guys lined up. I've got my um, 3, 330 ohm resistor. You could go down to 220. These are, you can experiment with the resistor values, but basically we've got ours right here. So I'm going to actually move this over a little bit, and I'm going to make it in its own row. So with it being in its own, it both, both feet are going to be in their own, own individual row. I want to make sure that they're nice and like snug. But one thing that to not do is to not push all the way through so that you connect out the other side, and it's actually possible to push down and underneath, which is pretty amazing to see happen, but it can happen. So now we've got two independent things. I've got my lever, I've got my resistor, and what I want to do now is I want to get my uh, LED wired up. So remember, the negative is on the left-hand side and the positive on the right-hand side for this circuit. So I'm going to set these guys up in their independent rows. I'm overlapping the resistor, so the resistor and the LED are connected. And then I'm going to take a wire and I'm going to go from the outside of the wire, the positive, and I'm going to um, move it in place. Now the reason I do this is that I, I want to debug the circuit as well as um, you know, sh be able to tell something's happening, right? So if I pull my grand out and I touch this wire here, it turns on. I touch that wire there, it turns on. We're all in really good shape. We're, we're powering this up properly. So now I want my lever here to actually um, do something, right? But it's not connected. So the, it's going through the front. And I'm going to say, let's go out the back. I'll grab another wire. So out the back here. And that's, I'm on this very first row. I can be anywhere on this row. That's the top corresponding piece. And this needs to connect to our resistor. So now I've jumped over to the resistor. So I have my working circuit. I have my inputs here. And now, if I press this lever down, boom, on. Press the lever down, it's on. I make things blink. I can lock it in place. So it's definitely on, no problem. So now we have essentially the equivalent of what we did with the button. Bing, bing, bing. We're now doing that with the lever. Da, da, da. And sometimes they're hard to get to, so you can take a pencil or a pen and, and press them that way. So now we're going to take this one extra step. So this is this like this is completing what we did with the button, but now we've done it with the circuit. 
Um, the extra step is that since we have what I would say is an array or a whole bunch of buttons, you can actually take a button and wire it into another button. So I'm actually going to just jump this loop. I'm taking button one and jumping it over to button two. And I'm going to take another output. So I'm actually going in this side, out that side, jumping over, going in the back side. And now I'm going to put a wire in the front for position two. Now here's the reason it's kind of tricky is now I've got things in the way. But this wire is now going to touch back over here. And that, so, and so what it does is that we go in the negative side, through the button, through the second button, from the second button over to the resistor, resistor over to the LED, from the LED we go to the positive. So now we have a full circuit, and the way we'll test this is I'll press the push down the first button, locked in place, nothing happens, right? Because we still have a gap. We don't, we've not closed the distance between that. But because we have the second button, I'll press down, and it fires right up. And so now that second button is there. So what we have is the idea of I have basically a continuous line, a button, a line, a button, and a line. And what happened is we closed the first button, we closed the second button, and we make a complete connection between our positive and negative side, and we are firing up our circuit. So this is actually the very first circuit that we put in series. And this is the very first, you know, very first thing that is actually a digital logic gate in one sense. And that is, for this to be on, I have to have the first button on and the second button on. Every other combination will turn it off. So if I do a little bit of work here, I'll just flip this up. And once I flip that up, it's off. I flip them both off, they're both off. But if they're both down at the same time, use the eraser on my battery on my pen and once I do that uh, we should be on but you know what I did was I probably touched something made something looser than it should be so what did I do ah I had a loose wire over here so um, and this is the thing is that we do have situations that are kind of weird and anomalous so I just touched a little thing over here and it made the connection the way it should be and we're back in action. So breadboards are holding our project still. They make it so that things aren't falling apart. Um, we have our sort of AND circuit, and this is in series. We have this one followed by that one, which they're, they're both in the ON state, fire up this. And this is very, I mean, this is exactly the same deal as I've got two torches, no, I mean, two uh, levers, and they're in series with one another, and I hooked them up to one uh, redstone torch, and in the exact same combination here, causes the same combination of like turning on the LED when they're both in the on position. So that's the very first little introduction. So we did kind of two things in this section. We were like how to wire up our levers and then how to wire two levers together. And you could take this further and actually just add more wires doing exactly the same thing and put five uh, levers together to control different things. Uh, whereas if we go over to buttons, you see how big the buttons are. If I had five buttons, they would go across, so it wouldn't all fit on the breadboard. So that's where you get bigger breadboards and do all kinds of other fun stuff. But anyway, that is uh, introduction to levers and the very first peek at um, uh, the idea of things in series and the concept of and when you have both things turned on simultaneously. So thank you very much, and we'll be back for more.